What's up guys, Nicholas Marsic here, and if you remember back at PlayStation 4's E3, Sony said something about the PlayStation 4 is gonna do remote play. The problem is, some people don't even know remote play is, and what's the differences between current remote play or the remote play that the PS4 is gonna do. So without further ado, this is PS4 remote play explained. All right, so this little fella is called the PlayStation Vita. This was announced about two years ago, you know, 2011, and basically its main job was to have console gaming on the go. That's right, you're able to play your PlayStation 3 games anywhere in the world, and that was its job. But as time went by, that really didn't happen. There was about three games that allowed this feature and pretty much nothing else. So Sony pretty much said, scratch that idea, we're just gonna make this an indie console. And so far, that's all they've been doing, sending in indie games towards PlayStation Vita, making it virtually useless. Now that there's a brand new console called the PlayStation 4 coming out, Sony thought that they should do the idea all over again and make the PlayStation 4 once again a remote play device. Remote play is pretty much the idea of playing your game on your PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 device and being able to play that same exact game anywhere in the world via internet access. So pretty much, it's just like the PlayStation 3 is the main housing, it's the one doing all the processing, and the Vita is like a controller and a portable television screen. Pretty damn awesome! However, the differences between the PlayStation 4 version of Remote Play and the PlayStation 3's version of Remote Play is Gaikai. Before, Remote Play was pretty much unusable. It was pretty much sending the signal directly to your internet, and the PS Vita had to do all the work to transcode what's going on, send signal over to the PlayStation 3, blah 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 blah, too much stuff. So Sony bought Gaikai, and now with that said, Gaikai is the one doing all of the work, and you're doing nothing but clicking buttons. That makes it extremely easy to use, easy to connect, and it's fluent. Now because of that, every single PlayStation 4 game that doesn't need the PlayStation 9 can play on the Vita. Imagine, Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PlayStation Vita! <laughs> but in all seriousness, it's just pretty damn awesome what they're trying to do and I really, really recommend Sony to do such thing because if they don't, it's gonna be a lot of mad fans. And if this doesn't happen, PlayStation Vita is gonna be pretty much dead because its main purpose was to have console gaming on the go, which so far we're not seeing. So do it, Sony. Do it. So that's it, guys. Hope you liked the video. Peace out.